Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad from Dashflix and I am excited because we have some new app updates that I'd like to share with you. So first and foremost, um, and I'll pick up my phone here, um, as you guys can see uh, on the right side basically you'll see the app and on the left you'll see the desktop version uh, of the app. I'm logged into one of our demo accounts, we can test some things out for you. But we added some really cool functionality into the app. So for those of you guys that have been using the app, you've seen that we've had conversations. Now, Conversations was the first app that was inside of Dashclix uh, that we basically added into the actual app itself. Now we actually have added a brand new app and that's called Contacts. So as an example, if I go to Contacts, so now all of your contacts are literally inside of the app. And as you can see here, if I go and I click on a contact, you can basically do almost anything that you could do inside of the web version of Dashclix in the mobile app, right? So you can see all of the people, you can also see all of the businesses. If you have any like custom filter set up, you can click on filters and you can see all of your filters set up over here. And then once again, you can click on an actual contact card. So if I click on a contact card here, you'll basically see what that looks like. And you can see activity on a contact, uh, about the contact. You can also edit all the contact information by clicking on this edit button. Uh, you can uh, see any notes that are added, any reminders that you have, any logs that you have. You can also fire off emails, boom, right over here from the contacts uh, card. You can fire off SMS messages. Uh, you can create reminders. You can uh, add any logs. You can add notes on specific contacts, right? So as you can see, we've added a lot of functionality. You can also search contacts. So let's say uh, I want to search uh, Mark as an example, right? I could just go ahead, uh, search my contacts, and boom, there's Mark. I can see his information here, right? So this is just one step closer to us, once again, adding all of the functionality from the web app inside of the mobile app. We also did some pretty cool things as well. We added, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, which is pretty cool, we've added a dark feature as well. So for those of you guys who are used to using any iOS or, or, or uh, Android app, you know that a lot of apps has dark versions and you can see we've done just that. So once again, beautiful dark version as well that's in here. Uh, and if you want, you can just go back, toggle that, go to light, right? And all that good stuff. So a lot of new functionality coming inside of the mobile app. These updates are available inside of uh, both the iOS devices uh, and uh, uh, Android devices. So if you go to the Google Play Store or you go to the App Store, uh, go ahead and make sure to update uh, uh, those apps and you'll get all this new function functionality right inside of your app today. This is released and we've got tons and tons and tons of features coming to the app. We have a full team that's just, just solely just focused on working on the app. So you're going to see a lot of really cool features uh, and once again, getting all of the apps from the web version into the mobile version, uh, into the uh, actual mobile app version. So coming here very soon, a bunch of new features. Hope you like it. Share your feedback with us. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next update. Have a good one.